And of course, my Skype messenger pops up too, right in the window. Ah, you notice that we've hit a cutscene when we approach something. In this case, the lake. And if you remember from Ginger's little run through, that, uh, yeah. Hello, clouds. Welcome on Earth. So, clouds flying free. Feeling light as a feather. Okay, the cemetery is on the other side of this lake. And if you recall, uh, when we got a cutscene for one of the girls in an area, yeah, yeah, that meant that their uh, wolf was found in that area. And yes, in Rose's case, the lake, uh-oh, thunder, the lake is her area where she meets her wolf. And rain. Of course it rains. Rose likes rain. Doesn't bother her in the least. happen to know where it is because of the nice little icon that the bloom is covering up on screen. Now see, as you play the game, it makes it a little easier. Not a ton easier, but a little bit. Yeah, we can't do, we can't run in some of these areas. It's annoying, but hey, what are you going to do? The cycle of life and death knows no beginning and no end. So she's kind of a zen person at times. Nope, the tree is still ginger. The dead bird is gone, so she couldn't interact with that. But if you notice, it's not in one of her special areas, so she wouldn't anyway. But the little thing fell out of the nest. Was it trying to fly? If I had wings, I'd probably f try that too. You noticing that she has a lot of thoughts about flying away and flying free? Yeah. I think there's a pretty good reason for that. Okay. Ruby, apparently. Hey, look, a skull. The skull we noticed earlier. She buries it, and for some reason the skull makes her think of a little desk in a small alcove in a hall. She buries it. The dead go in the dirt, while their souls fly to the sky. Notice the theme yet? It's getting hammered in pretty good. See, she doesn't have so much a fascination with death, per se. Let's see. Where is... which one was... which one was, uh, Robbins? 
believe this open grave was Robin's. Maybe it'll be just Ruby's now, but... Okay, that's just Ruby's... Okay, if you couldn't tell, that was Robin. And if you saw her, her face was hanging like that. Yeah, if you get near an area where the uh, girl, or you've already played one of the past and found her wolf and walked her in, that's in her rabbit state back to her house, you run across her items with another girl, her head will be like that. Okay, so which direction you are? Some over here. Okay. Don't let me run yet. You could, you know. The graveyard's not that special to Rose. What is... Oh, there's that. But the bathtub was around here, too, for her. Some of the items move around a little bit in the forest, depending on the girl you're playing as. And she is running around up here for some unknown reason. So once again, Ruby, or not Ruby, yeah, Ruby and, what did I say, not Ruby, yes, Ruby and Ginger. Let's see what she's hiding around. Yeah, I saw a flower. be blind because I do not see what she was if she, there was anything over here oh there's a flower we will go pick said flower Obviously, you think there's something over there that we can interact with, but I don't think there is. I really don't. I just do not think there's anything over here. Girl in white. I liked your other area better. You notice she doesn't run like Robin does. None of the girls act exactly the same. Which is good. I mean, be boring if they were. Or be boring if they did, rather. Be boring if they would th if they were the same. Stop moving for a second. <sighs> Where are you going? Aha! Is that what you were trying to show me? The well. Well, well, well. And the 
it shows us what looks like a hospital or a dining hall. <sighs> Deep inside everybody is a dream. <laughs> 